Out of the box is a way of holding a safe, brave and playful space to um, explore stories and to connect a story with our own story. You can use out of the box in all sorts of contexts and in all sorts of places. Um, so we have a box with everything in it to tell all of the stories, but you don't need this box of materials. You can use natural found objects. So if you're on a beach, you could tell the stories on the sand and use shells and stones and sea glass. Um, if you were in the woods, then you could tell the stories on the earth and use sticks and feathers and cones and leaves. Or you can tell the stories on a piece of cloth that unrolls on, on a table or in a bag of sand like this. So are you ready for a story? Now we have time to breathe. In a circle of trust, we listen and explore feelings. The space to wonder. And to play. In love. Your story, my story, our story. Let's be curious about this story. There was once a person who took care of their family and neighbours. They had a bucket and a rod. And each morning they would walk the long path to the ocean. and sit and fish. They would watch the birds dive into the water and imagine the sea creatures below. Then at the end of the day, they would take the fish back and share them for supper. One day, a visitor came past. If you had many rods, they said, then you could catch more fish and sell them as well as eat them.
We have enough, said the person. The visitor came back. If you had a boat, then you could drag a big net behind you and catch many more fish. Then you'd be rich. We have enough, said the person. And we are not the only ones who need the fish. Let's be curious. So in the time of reflection then with the group, um, you might ask, I wonder what you like about the story? Or I wonder what you don't like about the story? Or I wonder what this story reminds you of? And that reflection can be quite playful, so people can, can bring in objects to help express what they're feeling. Then you would take the objects of the story away and now invite the community to create a landscape of how they are feeling. So it might be how they're feeling about their day or their community or the world. People could create mountains and valleys, maybe flat places. There might be places that people want to hide and caves, all sorts of ways. And you can use these as well. Um, so people might place in, I don't know, it feels like there's buried treasure somewhere, but we can't find it or it feels like um, there's a forest of trees and it's all dark and we can't see our way through. All sorts of ways that people can, can create this landscape. And then you might ask, so what do we have enough of? Or what do we have too much of? Or what happens when we take too much? Perhaps you might use the metaphors of the, the rods or the boat and it's a way of people um, working out what that story means to them and then taking action maybe changing uh, thinking about their own values and maybe changing what they then do another way that people can respond to this story is by giving them space to, to go off and walk um, to play with materials to write a poem to sit and chat with somebody all sorts of ways in which we can invite people to to respond um, and to reflect on the story. And then at the end, it's a good thing to share food and drink together, to have a time of being in community, because it's by being in community that we can, it is, that we can have the courage, I think, as well, to, to really reflect, to be vulnerable, and to change ourselves and, and our ways in which we live. So that's out of the box.